I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman. According to those familiar with the case, sometime this week, perhaps as soon as tomorrow, Matthew Flores could be in Rutherford County's courthouse for an extradition hearing. Matthew Flores is behind bars for probation violations after serving a year and a half in a North Carolina prison on drug and assault charges. Flores potentially faces charges connected to the disappearance of Palm Beach Gardens rideshare driver Gary Levin. Prosecutors in Central Florida want him brought back to face murder charges in the shooting death of a man in Wachula. You know, rest assured that this individual will be returned to Florida. It probably will be within the next couple of weeks. Could be even sooner than that. Well-known Western North Carolina defense attorney Stephen Lindsay is not connected to the Flores case. My sense is there's not going to be any negotiating going on. It's going to be how quickly can we get him back. And from the defense's perspective, what can I do to protect him in the interim? I'm certain as soon as they arrested Mr. Flores that probably that the state of Florida, just because of the seriousness of the charges, the state of Florida already started the extradition process. Laura Powell is Rutherford County's chief public defender. For now, her office is defending Flores, who was taken to jail after deputies say they caught Flores during a high-speed chase Thursday driving Gary Levin's Kia. Powell says Florida has likely asked for a governor's warrant. That would allow Florida to bring back Flores if North Carolina's governor signs the paperwork. Then he'll issue the governor's warrant and then the state of Florida can come up and extradite or take the individual back to the requesting state. The only question is when will that happen? Tomorrow we could know when an extradition hearing for Matthew Flores could take place. In Rutherford to North Carolina, I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.